Why do they always name these hurricanes the most terrible names? Like, this one's named Hurricane... Bessie. I am not about to die to some Hurricane Bessie. Do y'all still think McDonald's is open? Because this hurricane is making me very much hungry. Why does it have to be windy and raining? I mean, can the weather just pick a struggle? A hurricane's coming? Okay, let me get my school book bag and I'm just gonna lay it in the middle of our yard. Please come flood it. Please come flood it. Hey, how are y'all doing? Don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just popping through. Uh, does anyone have a boat that I could use because I really need to get to work and my car is, um, under the water? Where do you work at that's still open? Um, Walmart never closes. Oh my gosh, my house is like the only one that made it. I mean, I never did like my neighbors. My house is a mess. My upstairs bathroom is in my downstairs living room. You always told me how you said our third floor was too small, but now we don't have a third floor. It's in our neighbor's yard. Y'all, the house is on fire. What happened? I left a Pop-Tart in the microwave with the wrapper still on it. You did that on purpose. Shh, don't tell anyone. The house is on fire? Okay, let me get my homework out. I'm gonna set it right on top of the fire. No more homework for me. Get up. What? The house is on fire. What? The house is on fire. Oh my goodness, the house is on fire. I just said that. Okay, everyone, what's the first thing that you do in a fire? I don't know, what? You have to stop, drop, and roll. Uh, y'all, I think they just passed out. I heard someone called for a fire truck. I can't get out. Someone help me. Just jump. I am not jumping. Did you grab all of your belongings? Mm-hmm. I grabbed my money. Um, I grabbed some food, some clothes. <gasps> my kids! Do y'all think insurance will cover this? No? Okay. My house looks like a toasted marshmallow. Time to marry a millionaire. Oh my gosh, a tsunami is coming? Yeah. This is the perfect time to start. You could die. No, that just adds the extra thrill. We need to get in the car and drive away fast. We won't be fast enough. No, I drive like Lightning McQueen down those highways. That tsunami will never catch us. Come on, we have to evacuate. We just got to the beach. Plus, I really need a tan. We need to go right now. Y'all just go. I'll stay here and play in the sand and wait for the tsunami to just pass. The only thing that will be passing is your soul when it passes away. I think a tsunami's coming. How did you know? Was it the 100 foot tall wave right in front of us? Yeah. Wait, why aren't you evacuating? I've accepted my fate, so I'm just gonna stand here and wait for it to come. One hour later. Where am I? Wait, does that sign say Japan? I'm from California. Did I really get carried across the Pacific Ocean? There is a whole boat on top of our house. How does that even happen? Oh my gosh, the tsunami just wiped out the whole town. Oh, actually, I see Walmart. Walmart's still open, y'all. Um, does anyone have a boat or something? Because I'm a little stuck here. This is your captain speaking. The plane is going down. Remain calm. The plane's going down? No, this can't be happening. I don't even have the right to vote yet. <laughs> Hey, is anyone's name Jack? Because my name is Rose and I would absolutely love to have a Titanic airplane edition. Oh my gosh, just what we need in the middle of a plane crash is your baby crying, Brenda. Tell your baby to be quiet. I can't even make one phone call up here because I have no cell phone service. I wish I had the Secret Service. The Secret Service is the president's bodyguard. Oh, I thought it was like a really exclusive cell phone service. <laughs> the plane, the plane is going down. Where am I? I lost my shoe. You're really concerned about a shoe? Yes, it was a $500 shoe. I'm no expert in geography, but guys, I don't think this is Alaska. Y'all, I think I'm gonna go. What are you talking about? Well, I've just accepted that I'm probably not gonna revive this. So I'm just gonna go sit in the cave over there and stare at the wall. Okay, y'all, let's split up and search for clues. Let's look for Wait, water. Wait, did you just say split up and search for clues? Yeah. This isn't Scooby-Doo. Well, I don't know what to do. Y'all, the house is on fire. Oh my goodness, wait, did you start the fire? Why do you think that I would start it? There's a whole bucket of gasoline and a pack of matches right well, next I to mean, you. <laughs> that's so, that's so funny. <laughs> it definitely wasn't me. <laughs> Wake up. No, let me be. The house is on fire. The house is on fire? Yes. But I don't want to get up. Come on, we have to go. No, my lasagna is still in the oven. The oven is on fire. Okay, well, that just means it'll take less time to cook. Come on, we have to go. I am not leaving without my lasagna. I think the house is on fire. Is it really? No, I thought it was flooding in here. What do we do? I don't know. Do I look like a fire truck?
The firefighters are here. You have to jump. I am not jumping off of this building. It's the only way. Well, I guess just tell my family I love them because I am staying right here. Y'all think insurance will cover this, right? The whole neighborhood is on fire, so no. <laughs> oh, wow. Is everyone out of your house? No, my son is still in there using the bathroom. The house is literally on fire. I told him that, but he said it was an emergency. My house looks like a marshmallow that was dropped into the fire. I mean, is anyone around here a millionaire? Because I'm looking to get married. There is no way in the world that you were gonna get me to ride that roller coaster. It's not even that scary. I do not want to die. You will not die. You'll be fine. I will also be fine on the ground and not 200 feet in the air. I am not getting on this rickety roller coaster that has passed its expiration date. It's not even that old. It was literally established in 1921. That was a hundred years ago. How tall is this? 456 feet. Is it safe? No, not really. Oh, I, I still want to get on. <laughs> we should ride this. Yes, we should. Wait, really? Yes. Every time I ride a roller coaster, I just close my eyes and pretend I'm sitting in a massage chair. A few moments later. Why did y'all make me sit in the front? I am going to beat y'all up for this. This is so scary. Wait, where's the camera? Uh, to your right. I have to look good in those pictures. Can we please go again after this? Wait, why? I just love feeling like you're about to die. Oh my goodness, y'all. I'm gonna die. Y'all, I think they just passed out. Um, why am I tied to this pole? So you won't escape? Oh, so you like really want me. That's fan behavior. And I told Vanessa not to go tell Kenneth, but what did she do? She went and told Kenneth. And I'm like, Vanessa, calm down. He literally looks like Ferb from Phineas and Ferb. Are you really not scared? No. Now pay attention and listen to the story. I'm trapped in a basement. Um, why are we singing? If I ever escape from here and Netflix wants to make a documentary, I want it to be a musical. Look, I really have to go to the bathroom and I am not about to poop on this floor because what am I not? A dog. So is there like a bathroom somewhere I can use? Um, you can just hold it in. Hold it in? Hold it in? No, I'll give you something to hold in. Okay, so let's play rock, paper, scissors. And if I win, we get to go to McDonald's, okay? Rock, paper, scissors. I won! Look, I have a question. Are you damaged? What do you mean? Like, is your soul a little cracked? Were you the silent kid that sat in the back of the classroom with a hoodie on? Yes, I actually mm, was. That makes so much sense. I'm so sorry for you. There is a tornado coming. Wait, does that mean we have to go into the basement? Because if so, I am not going. That place is haunted. But you'll die. Well, I would rather get sucked up into a tornado than meet Casper the ghost. You would be meeting a ghost either way. Oh, yeah. There's a tornado. Okay, and what do you want me to do about it? I mean, do I look like I can control the weather? Okay, so I've got clothes. I've got deodorant. I've got toothpaste. <gasps> I forgot my kids. I wonder what is inside of a tornado. <gasps> Let's find out. Um, it's getting pretty windy. <gasps> I survived. Honestly, y'all, I was not expecting that. Oh, this is very much giving me Dorothy from Wizard of Oz vibes. <gasps> or that one song from Carrie Underwood about tornadoes. Oh my goodness, my house is a wreck. But somehow my neighbor's house looks better than it did before. You hear that, Brian? I think the tornado sucked up all the trash off of your front yard. Does that sign say Mississippi? I live in Georgia. How did I get here? The volcano's erupting. Wait, really? Oh my goodness. Someone get their phone out and take a picture of me. Are you really going to take a picture in the middle of this? Uh, yeah. This is like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You said we were hiking up a mountain, not a whole volcano. I said we were sightseeing. Sightseeing? Thanks to you, this will be the last sight we'll ever live to see. It is so hot. Thank you. I was talking about the volcano. Oh. I know there's like a volcano erupting and everything, but have any of y'all seen the bathroom? Because I need to make a volcanic eruption myself. A few moments later. Can someone please help me? Because when I said I wanted to play The Floor is Lava, I didn't mean it literally. Excuse me, can we like sweep the lava off of the road? You can't sweep lava. Well, I need to get to work. Where do you work that's still open? Um, Walmart is open 24 hours a day. Why did we have to move next to a whole volcano? I didn't know it was going to erupt. That's like pouring a bottle of water on yourself and then saying, Oh, I didn't think I would get wet. I think the volcano erupted. How did you guess? Was it the fact that our driveway is now a river of lava? 
There's a tornado coming? Yeah, we have to get in the basement. No, I am not going in the basement. Why? Because it is scary. Not as scary as a tornado. Yes, it is. I would much rather die from a tornado than get possessed by a ghost. Does anyone know where the tornado actually is? I think it blew your high school away. Wait, my high school? Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness, I am a tornado supporter. Yeah, tornado, go tornado. Yes, no more school for me. Does anyone else really just want to go into the tornado and see what it looks like? No, you will die. Mm, do we really know that though? Yes. Are we 100% sure? Yeah, 110%. Well, I guess we'll find out anyways. Come on, we have to go. The tornado's coming. Are you forgetting something? No. <gasps> I left the fridge open. Nope, something else. Um, <gasps> I forgot to get the kids. Hey, It's how a tornado, are doing? run! Why is everyone running away? Why didn't we choose to move to California? There's no tornadoes in California. Yeah, but there's wildfires. Oh, yeah. My house is crooked. I didn't even know that your house could be crooked. This place is a mess. I mean, might as well just burn the whole place down. This place looks like trash. Where am I? <gasps> I actually survived. Oh my goodness. Where am I? You're in Canada. Canada? I'm from Florida. I just have to ask you one thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you proposing to me? Will you marry me? No, no, no. I am not marrying you. Wait, why? I bought you a whole house. The only reason I dated you in the first place is because you're rich. I'm not about to marry someone that looks like Elmo off of Sesame Street. Do we need lettuce or tomatoes? Will you marry me and make me the happiest? You are not proposing to me in the middle of a Walmart. Plus, that ring that you have in your hand looks like you got it out of a McDonald's kids meal. Wait, is that a yes or a no? It is a no for me. We should go to TJ Will you Ma marry me? Are you proposing to me in public? I sure am. You better get up off this floor. Everyone is looking at us. So you don't like the attention? No, this is embarrassing. We should watch a movie. Actually, I wanted to ask you something. Oh, okay, go ahead. Will you marry me? No, no, I'm good. Wait, why? Do you really want to know? Yes. Okay, your breath stinks. Your hair smells like almond oil. You don't cut your toenails. One hour later. You don't have a job. You can even drive. You don't even look good. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm just gonna go, okay? Oh, okay, bye. Fine, I'll just watch the movie by myself. Hi, is your name Cheryl? Yes. Great. So I just want to let you know that that credit card that you gave us has no money on it whatsoever. So I suggest that since you're too broke to afford McDonald's, maybe you and your 2001 Nissan should drive over to Wendy's instead and see if you can afford them. That is not how we talk to customers. What? I'm telling the truth. So basically, Brian told her. He was like, I don't want to talk to her anymore. Excuse me. I would like to make an order if you would stop talking. And I want to be a millionaire and not have to work at McDonald's to make a living. But I guess we just don't get everything that we want, do we? I am reporting you to your manager. Can you clean up the throw up that's on the floor? But it is not just on the floor. I mean, it is everywhere. It is on the ceiling. I mean, who did this? I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to. You did this? You're like a five-year-old kid. I mean, I'm going to have to put caution symbols around the whole restaurant. I mean, we might just need to close down early. You need to go into the bathroom and just clean yourself out. Actually, it looks like you just cleaned yourself out around the whole restaurant. Watch your mouth. We do not talk to customers like what? that. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Y'all, this shop is just so easy. Did you just drop the chicken nuggets? Well, it's okay. I'll just put them back in the tray. No, that's so unsanitary. Okay, who really cares? They're not gonna see. They could die of food poisoning. Hi, I'm the manager of this McDonald's establishment, and basically what I want to tell you is, um, you're fired for obvious reasons. Fired? No, I quit. That's not how it works. Well, that's how we're gonna make it work. I'm fired? No, the only thing that's giving fire tonight is this building. Is that a threat? No, it's a promise. Okay, I'm fired? Great. Can I go now? Wait, you're not upset? No, I'm just gonna go work at Chick-fil-A across the street. But I've never been fired before. Well, there's the first time for everything. The disrespect! Hey, Miss Flight Attendant Lady, do you have any pretzels? The plane is crashing. Oh, so is that a no for the pretzels? Remain calm. Everyone remain calm. G guys, guys, calm down. We need to stay calm. The plane is going down. And what would you like me to do about that? Would you like me to go up into the cockpit and fly the plane myself? Do I look like a pilot? Y'all, I am so dizzy. I think I'm about to pass out. Someone passed me the oxygen mask. The plane, wow. the plane's going down. Oh, wow. New York City has gotten so much trash here since the last time I was here. There is no cell service out here. Hold on. 
Hello, can anyone hear me? That is so unfortunate. Okay, so um, this was my last straw. <laughs> I've had it. So I'm just gonna go sit in that cave over there and just cry. Just simply cry. Okay, so we like need water, shelter, oh, and a fire. I don't know how to build a fire. I was hoping one of y'all did. Oh my gosh, y'all, the house is on fire. Wait, why? I mean, I didn't mean to. I was just trying to cook. You did that on purpose. Well, you don't have to tell anyone. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up! What? The house is on fire. Oh my goodness, really? I bet it was Scorpio, Gemini, or Aries that started it. Yeah, it was them. Of course it was them. It's always them. They do this every week. Y'all, I'm really stressed out. Just remember to bring your clothes, your, your toothbrush, and... Y'all, I think they just passed out. Someone needs to call 911 right now. Why don't you do it? Well, my phone is kind of in the fire, so I can't. You need to. But I don't know the phone number to it. It's 911. It's literally in the name. Oh my gosh, we're doomed. Hey, everyone. The fire truck is here. Yes, we're gonna save the day. Just jump. I am not jumping. But you will die. Mm -hmm. Someone get a ladder. I mean, do I strike you as a skydiver? Y'all, it is really hot out here, and it kind of smells like burnt wood. That's probably because the whole house burning behind you. Okay, dang, okay. Mm, I am so glad that I have insurance to cover this. Um, your insurance was just canceled. What? My house is destroyed, and I lost all of my money. I guess I'm gonna become a criminal and rob a bank. What in your right mind made you want to burn down a whole neighborhood? Well, I didn't mean to burn down the whole neighborhood. I was just trying to have a fire in my backyard. And then the backyard caught on fire. And then my house caught on fire. And then 10 seconds later, the whole neighborhood was on fire. What made you want to poison a whole restaurant full of people? Well, I didn't mean to poison them. We were just running out of drinks because we were super busy. And so I was just like, hmm, why don't I serve them bleach? But apparently bleach is poisonous. Did you steal $20 million from the bank? Well, I prefer the term borrowed. Well, this money that you borrowed is now missing. Well, I left it all in my car, right? And then someone stole my car. So I actually don't know where it is. Well, you're going to go to jail until you figure out where it is. What? Why did you steal a whole car? Because I saw $20 million in the back seat. Of course I was going to steal the car. Officer, where are we going? To prison where you belong. What? Mr. Officer, sir, I have a complaint to make. What is it? The food here tastes like it came out of a dumpster, and this bed is harder than Patrick's Rock from Spongebob. Well, this isn't a five-star hotel. Well, please, I could have told you that. Everybody listen up. Now that I am in this prison, y'all will all listen to me. Anyone have a problem with that? Yeah, I do. Well, let's rumble. Let's rumble right now. Get me out of here, please. I don't belong here. <laughs> Get me out. I am not using that toilet. I am not using that toilet. I will hold it in if I have to till I get out of this prison. Come on in. Aww, thank you for inviting me. This place is just so nice. Was that a gunshot? I think I left my phone at home. Let me go get it. Brian, start the car right now. <laughs> We're getting out of here. They weren't supposed to kill him yet. They were supposed to wait till later. What did you just say? Oh, um, I meant... Oh my goodness, was that a gunshot? That is so shocking. Mm, this brownie is so good. Did you hear that? Did I hear what? The gunshot. Oh, um, no, I was too busy focused on these brownies. Run! Oh, they missed me. I'm over here. Um, where are we going? The police department because you're getting questioned. Oh, that is unfortunate. What is with this bright light? Can we turn it down? No. Okay, whatever. What's your question? Are you the murderer? Um, that's a tough question. It was not me. You have a gun in your hand. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Well, it's a water gun. What about the blood in your shirt? Um, Kool-Aid. I promise it's not okay i don't want to go to jail you went to the bathroom right after the victim was shot what about it that doesn't seem suspicious well the gunshot really scared me and it made me have to poop i didn't even take one step before scorpio came and stabbed me i sadly died after fighting aries for a two pound bag of kool-aid mix i mean you gotta do what you gotta do so i decided to hide in this really cool abandoned building and um it fell on top of me i fell in a lake and drowned i mean my sign is literally a fish Virgo speared me like Rue from the first Hunger Games. I caught an attitude with Scorpio and they clocked me from behind. I got rabies from this really weird looking dog. Aries and I got in an argument, so I decided to be the bigger person and walk away. 
but um, I walked off of a cliff. I fell off of the same cliff right after that happened. Sagittarius caught me in the net and killed me. I threw a boomerang with a knife attached to the end of it at Sagittarius, but it came right back around and stabbed me. So, will my crown be mailed to me or can I pick it up today? Would you like to say a few words? Oh, no thank you. Alright, well let's get started. Actually, I would like to say a few things. I would like to say that this person that has passed away right here was a roach. They were a rat. And they were the biggest pain in my butt. Does anyone know how they passed away? Oh, um, their house caught on fire. Didn't you catch their house on fire? What? <laughs> Who told you? I know the funeral hasn't even started yet, but can we hurry this up because I want to get to the reception because I am very much starving. Why are you wearing yellow at a funeral? Because yellow is a happy color and I am so happy. I have been waiting for this for years. One eternity later. They were such a nice person. Oh my goodness, this funeral service has gone on for way too long. I mean, I have things to do and I promise you their life was not this important. That casket looks absolutely hideous. I mean, I guess it matches what's inside. What should we do with the ashes after they get cremated? Oh, um, I was thinking we could pour them, um, in the trash can where they belong. Hey. Hey, so I noticed you weren't at the funeral today. Oh, of course I was there. I was not about to waste my time on that. Where am I? Oh my goodness, why am I in this nasty van? It is not nasty. Yes, it is. If Dollar General had a van, it would be this van. I mean, this van doesn't just need a renovation, it needs a revolution. You said there was candy, but I don't see any candy there in here. There isn't any in here because you're getting kidnapped. If you don't show me a bag of candy within the next five minutes, you're the one that's gonna get kidnapped. Can you please let me go? Oh my gosh, you're getting kidnapped. <laughs> I'm not even a kid. Oh my goodness, there's like a whole bed back here. Do you live in this van? No. Then what's the bed for? It's for you. Oh no, I was thinking more like a five-star hotel. Someone let me out, please. Where are we? Um, my house. No, this is not a house. This is a nuclear bomb site. Ooh, this place is nice, muy bien. You know, forget about what I said earlier about the whole, oh my goodness, let me go, I'm gonna call 911. I'll just stay here with you. This place looks like a prison. Wait, have you ever been to prison before? Uh, yeah, 14 times. 14 times? How do you even do that? Um, who are you calling? Oh, I'm calling Uber to see if they can go pick us up some food. What? Yeah, I'm thinking Chick-fil-A or what about McDonald's? Are you not scared? No, I am not scared. I am hungry. I don't regret a single thing that I did because I promise you that I did it for a purpose. Someone told me that I had anger issues, but I don't have anger issues. That is a lot. People always say that I'm so mean, but I just tell everyone the truth. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just here so I can tell everyone that I've been to therapy. I can't help it if I just don't care about how you feel. Is it sad if I say that my therapist is my best friend? It was either I come here or I go to jail, so. I've been told that I'm pretty annoying. People just don't realize that I am always right and that everyone else is wrong. People always say I'm two-faced and they're right. I mean, it's just so boring to have one. It's been a hard couple of weeks. I have all day, so where do we start? Oh, let's start from my birth. Okay, so basically- Where am I? What in the trailer park trash is this place? This van looks like it's getting renovated by Pennywise the Clown. You said there was candy. Where is the candy? There is none. Okay, well do you have free Wi-Fi? No, you are getting kidnapped. That is so boring. Please let me go. I was just looking for my Amazon package. I thought it was in this van, but I was wrong. Hey, Mr. Psychopath, sir. Can we please pull through McDonald's? I am starving. Are you really not scared? No, this is like the fourth time this has happened to me. Wait, really? Yeah, I have really bad luck. A few moments later. Ooh, I cannot see a thing. Someone find the light switch. Ooh. Ooh, this is nice. Forget when I said, oh, take me home. I'll stay here. Y'all, it is so cold in here. It's like the perfect temperature for a nap. I mean, I would lay down, but it looks like there's 17 different diseases on this floor. Have you ever heard of a mop? This place is literally so moldy. I mean, if the kidnapper doesn't kill me, the lung cancer that I'm gonna get definitely will. Hi, is this Papa John's? It sure is. Great, I would like to place an order for a cheese pizza too. Hey, um, what's the address? 
Uh, Winster Road. Okay, uh, cheese pizza to Winster Road. Is that it? It sure is. Wait, do you want anything? No. Okay, yep, yeah, that's all. Oh my goodness, this place is so nice. I mean, you're not broke or anything, are you? <gasps> Could I just move in? I think it's time for some snacks. Let's play a game. No, I am starving. No, let's play a game. Okay, you wanna play a game so bad? Let's play point me to where the snacks are. You go first. Thank you so much for inviting me. I've had so much fun. Wait, why are you leaving? It's only six o'clock. You are delusional if you think I am not gonna be sleeping in my own bed. But please, bye y'all. Wake up. Wake up. What? You are literally asleep and it's six o'clock. I am tired. Let me be. One hour later. I am so bored. Let's play truth or dare. Ooh, I choose dare. I dare you to climb out this window and jump. But I could die. Yeah, that's what makes it fun. What are you doing? We're having a dance party, of course. Come on, join in. Who are you calling? Shh, I'm about to prank call Pizza Hut. This is Pizza Hut. How can I help you? Yes, I would like to place an order for a hundred pizzas. Can you pay for that? Definitely. I'm like a millionaire. <laughs> It is 4 a.m. Why are you awake? I am not about to let any of y'all heathens draw on my face when I fall asleep. No one is gonna do that. You literally have a picture of SpongeBob SquarePants on your forehead, so... I'm breaking up with you. Is it because I'm not pretty enough? Actually, don't answer that because no one is prettier than me. Are you sure about that? What, you disagree? I mean, are you Helen Keller? Are you blind? <laughs> Anyone could see that. I have something to tell you. What is it? I'm breaking up I'm with I'm breaking you. up with you. I was just about to do that. No, no, nobody breaks up with me. I had to say it first. I'm not about to get dumped by you. I've been thinking about something. Yeah, what is it? I think we should break up. You're breaking up with me on a plane? Yeah, what about it? I can't even get up and dramatically walk away. Like, you didn't even want to wait till the plane landed? I mean, are you stupid? We should break up. Oh, um, how about we just play one more game before we break up? Sure, what's the game? It's called Hold Your Breath Under the Water As Long As You Can. You go first. I'm breaking up with you. Let me ask you something. Do you like being alive? Like, does it make you happy that you're not dead? Why would you ask that? Because I am driving a car right now that you are riding in, so I have full control on whether you live or die. What are you gonna do, drive off the road? I will, I will drive off the road. Do you want me to? No, no. <sighs> Wake up. Wake up. What? Is the house on fire? No. Is the tsunami coming? No. Is the tornado coming? No, I'm breaking up with you. So you woke me up just to break up with me? Yeah, what about it? You know what? I don't need you because any person that I'm in a relationship would know never to wake me up. Okay? Just go pack your bags and leave. There's no laws? Virgo, Aries, come over. We're gonna have a party. Today's not the day. I'm too pretty to die. Ooh, let me find my hit list. I have been ready for this. Somebody go get my keys because I'm about to go on the shopping spree through the whole town. I've just had so much built up anger and now the world can be my stress ball. Did you guys just hear that? No, I have to go into my bunker. I can see someone on my front porch through my ring doorbell and um, should I let them in? Sorry, I was asleep when they were announcing the purge. Could someone explain to me what the purge is? I took a self-defense class in Taekwondo, so I should be good, right? I'm going to the bank because after this purge, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be loaded. I stole a Lamborghini from the car dealership and I'm driving it around town. I'm sorry, am I supposed to be bothered that the purge has started? I mean, I'm just going to sit in my living room and if they want to come for me, they can come for me. I mean, I'd love to. You told me we were going to a Taylor Swift concert, but does this look like Taylor Swift? I have to trick you into coming. Well, you don't have to trick me into leaving. I am out. Ooh. Is that a ghost? No. You know what? I'll just stick with y'all. Where have you been? We've been looking for you everywhere. I was just playing with this teddy bear that I found. Wait, did you touch it? Uh, yeah, why? You could be possessed. I could be possessed? What? <laughs> Y'all, I think I see the ghost of Prince Philip in the corner over there. I am not a ghost. This place just used to be a nursing home and they left me when they moved. My goodness. Look at that ghost. That right there is not a ghost. That is just someone who tragically needs a haircut. Hey, little ghost girl. She does not want to talk to you. No, she's just shy. Look, I have a coupon to this great hair salon. I can get you hooked up and everything. What? See, she's interested. Hey, so I'm the ghost of this house, and if y'all don't get out of here within the next 10 minutes, I will personally possess each and every one of you. No, I do not want to be possessed. Today is not the day. We gotta go.
If the ghost wants to fight, then we can just fight. I mean, I'll fight a ghost. Come on, we just have to start the car. The car won't start. Really? Okay, I'll just call an Uber. We don't have cell phone service. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess we're walking home. Y'all, that haunted house was nothing. If y'all want to see something haunted, then let's just go into the bathroom at Walmart. Why are we even having this debate? No one wants food that's been soaked in grease for longer than they've probably been alive. Please, your so-called chicken sandwich is just a piece of cardboard soaked in pickle juice and then slapped on the bun. When they see us, they're like, oh my goodness, this is luxury. But when they see you, they're like, when did I take a wrong turn and end up in the Dollar General? You're just mad because I'm open for seven days a week and you can barely stay open for six. You know what can barely stay open? That ice cream machine in the back of your stores. Why don't we try fixing that before coming for me? You know, I think it's funny how all of your employees say, my pleasure, but it would really be a pleasure if they actually made some good food. Okay, so let me wrap this up. If I walk into your restaurant, I will probably die within the next two to three minutes from whatever lung cancer I get. And if I eat your food, whoo, I'm probably gonna die too from that rat poison that you put in it. Y'all are all lying because I am obviously the best. Why are you even called Burger King? Is it because you're the king of giving food poisoning? McDonald's, that was the worst joke I've ever heard in my life. I mean, you can't even make food and you can't even make a funny joke. I mean, what can you do? Oh, right, nothing. It seriously smells like rat pee in here. I mean, where did you find this van? Behind the Dollar General? Yeah, maybe. Well, the only thing that could clean this is Mr. Clean himself. Um, Mr. Ice Cream Star, there is no ice cream back here. No, you're getting kidnapped. So does that mean there isn't any ice cream? Yes. But you said there was ice cream. Um, I was lying. Well, is there ice cream? Be quiet. Okay. Why is there so much wood back here? What did you do? Rob the Home Depot before you kidnapped me? Yeah, how did you know? It is so quiet. Can we play some music? No. Why? Because you're getting kidnapped. Okay, so does that mean we can't play music? No, I just don't like you. Ugh. One hour later. Hey, could you untie me, please? Why? Because if I call Pizza Hut within the next seven minutes, I'll get two cheese pizzas for free. And from the looks of it, you don't have any food. I mean, there's not even crumbs on the ground for the rats to eat. Could we start a fire? It's getting so cold in here. I already tried to start one. Okay, well, you have bricks in your fireplace. Um, is that a problem? Bricks don't start fires. If you're smart enough to kidnap someone, surely you're smart enough to start a fire. Am I the first person that you've ever kidnapped? Uh, yeah. Yay! Oh my goodness! Uh, why are you happy? Because I'm finally someone's first choice! Do you have a bathroom or something that I could use? No, I don't. I really have to go number two. I have a box of Clorox wipes. Clorox wipes? I mean, I guess I'll have to work. An earthquake's coming! Wait, really? Yes, we have to get off the ground. Do you have a plane? Um, do I strike you as someone who owns a plane? Come on, y'all, we have to go shopping. In the middle of an earthquake? Yes, because no one else will be at the stores. We could die, though. Um, if you snooze, you lose. It's the end of the world, y'all. We have to run. We have to run. It is not the end of the world. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I promise it is. I, I can just feel it. Wake up. There is an earthquake. I know. That's why I'm trying to sleep. Wait, what? Yes, the earthquake just shakes your bed so perfectly, and it's the best time to sleep. You're literally gonna die. Honestly, sleep is worth it. One hour later. We cannot drive on this broken road. Please, this vehicle right here is four-wheel drive. It is all terrain. Plus, I drive like Lightning McQueen, so we will be out of here in a second. I literally bought this car yesterday, and then this happened? Maybe it was a good thing, because that car was ugly. Oh, you want to talk about ugly? How about we talk about your house? Oh, wait, you don't have one, because they got destroyed in an earthquake. But our apartment building is literally sideways. Like, how does that even happen? I don't know about you, but I found it very much rude how the earth just quaked. Like, that was very mean. In the first four seconds of The Hunger Games, I was stabbed by Scorpio. But just know, Scorpio, I will be haunting you for the rest of your life! Okay, so maybe I lost the fight to Ares, but that's not really a big deal. What was the fight over? They stole my Pop-Tart and I needed it back. I was not about to live a life full of starvation. So, um, I was going through Sagittarius' stuff and I found this really tasty drink. And, you know, when I drank it, um, it was poison. So I lit a fire in the middle of the woods because I was not about to live that Arctic life. You know, I wanted to feel, you know, very warm, very comforting. And But anyways, um, Virgo saw that fire and they came and found me and, you know, shot me with their bow and arrow, yes. I am so mad right now because I was hiding under this rock, you know, and it was a big rock, okay? And then Jim and I came walking through the woods and sat on top of the rock and it smushed me. Like, 
That is so disrespectful of them. So, um, sadly, no one killed me. Instead, I fell out of a tree. How did you fall out of a tree? Okay, it was a very wobbly tree. You can't even blame me for that. It was, like, very tall, skinny, wobbly, you know? I can't, you know, it just wasn't meant for me, you know? So, basically, I was, like, walking through the woods, you know, taking pictures for my Instagram, and then I saw a bear, and I was like, oh my gosh, we have to take a picture with it. So, I posed, and I was like, bear, you need to smile, and then, it, you know, clawed me in the eye. <laughs> so, um, I was swimming in this lake right behind me, and, um, as I was swimming in there, you know, I felt a little pinch, and I was like, oh my goodness, what is that? And it was a crocodile. I was literally just enjoying life, and then Scorpio tried to shoot me with their bow and arrow, but I dodged the arrow and I survived. <sighs> but shortly after, they shot another arrow and it hit me, like, right here. So, um, I didn't survive that one. So I was just, like, chowing down on these weird spicy berries, and then all of a sudden I heard this voice from above go, Stand in the middle of the field. And so I went and stood in the middle of the field. And then one singular bolt of lightning went and struck me and I passed away. Um, if you ask me, I feel as if that was targeted, but you know. Tell us what happened, Scorpio. Um, I slipped off of a rock on accident. That is absolutely not what happened. Scorpio was standing right here like, oh my gosh, I'm about to win the Hunger Games. And I said, I think not. And I went... And I pushed them off and they like hit their head on a rock or something as they fell into the lake. What would you like to tell your fans at home? <laughs> well, uh, first of all, I want to say congrats, you know? <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I would like to tell my fans at home, um, look before you jump, you know? Look, I don't mean to be mean, but whoever made these mashed potatoes absolutely cannot cook. Like, I personally never want to see that person touch anything food-related again. Uh, nobody told you you had to eat it. Oh, I know I don't have to eat it. It's the fact that I physically cannot eat something like that gooey or something, okay? I'm actually about to make a call to 911 because what this is, this is attempted murder. Okay, so today we're gonna go around the table and say what we're thankful for. I'll go first. <laughs> Where do I start? Any day now, Cheryl. Well, it's just I have so many things to be thankful for. How about we just choose okay, one? Okay, um, I'll just save myself. You are so conceited. Oh, how about you listen oh, here? Oh, no, you do. Hello, everyone. Oh, especially you, Aunt Rebecca. Or should I say, Emily? <gasps> you didn't. Well, for anyone that doesn't know, Emily is Rebecca's online name that she uses to talk to 75-year-old rich men. <gasps> you would do it too for a check. Uh-uh. You just need to get a job, okay? Don't be lazy. Don't finesse elderly people for their money. Like, that is absolutely, like, horrible. Like, hey, everyone. Everyone meet my fiancé. Oui, oui. That's, like, your fourth fiancé this okay, year. Okay, I'm sorry that I don't want to be single for the rest of my life like you, Brenda. Ooh! Anyways, um, this is my fiancé. I think that's how you say it. Um, we know you know how to say fiancé. Well, it's just so hard for me. I mean, they're from Italy, you know? So I get my words mixed up because, you know, I'm starting to turn Italian. <laughs> Be so for Shut real. Shut up! Hey, how are y'all doing? I just came to get me some food real quick. Oh, you're not saying? Oh, no, I don't want to intrude. No, you're not intruding. No, no, I'll just see y'all at Christmas. <laughs> uh, uh, there he goes, there he goes. <laughs> and so basically, I was like, no, you don't hey. need to say that, Victoria. What are you doing here? I'm just about to feast. No, no, no. You're a child. Go sit at the child's table. I'm basically 18. No, you're 17 and you'll be turning 18 tomorrow. That's still giving minor to me. Um, as if you're not 17 yourself. No, I'm mentally like a 28-year-old. You see, there's a difference. Anyways, let's get back to Victoria. If I recall correctly, didn't you literally have cocaine in your drink? Please, that is old news. Just like you and your lousy excuse for a soda. <laughs> no. A lousy excuse is the fact that you have a polar bear for your mascot, even though you're probably the number one reason why the ice caps are melting in the first place. Oh, I know you're not talking to me about a mascot when you literally have Kylie Jenner as your spokesperson. The only reason anybody would ever want to buy you in the first place is probably because you're the only drink around, or they want to do a little science experiment with Mentos and see you explode. Oh, sit down, Pepsi, because the next time that you want to post up and be bold, keep in mind that I'm worth 30 billion more dollars than you are. Oh, oh wow, um... I saw a butterfly in the woods, so I walked off the pedestal and died. I thought this was an all-you-could-eat buffet, but then out of nowhere, Capricorn just throws a spear at me. I went up to Aries looking for an alliance, and they just clocked me in the back of the head with an axe. I ran into the woods to get away from all these fools, and then all of a sudden Virgo, Gemini, and Scorpio came out of nowhere and stabbed me in the back. Like, roaches. After I killed Taurus, I ran into the woods and a tree fell on top of me. I would've won, too. I was killed by Virgo. So, like, I ate a whole deer on day one, and we're like a week into it now, and I starved. I lost the fight to Scorpio, but I'm coming back for my revenge. Watch out for Casper. Gemini shot me in the chest with a bow and arrow. Honestly, I didn't think their two-faced cells had it in them. 
I was feeling pretty good after I killed Sagittarius, so I fought a bear in the woods and I lost. I was so close to winning, and then I may or may not have fallen off of a cliff. How did I win? Oh, I pushed Gemini off of a cliff. United Airlines, I have just created the best slogan for you. Here, listen. Here at United Airlines, we cannot be our competitors, so we be our customers. Wow, that was a good one, Spirit. Maybe yours should be the Walmart of the skies. Sorry I'm late, y'all, but there was a delay in the airport in Atlanta. Oh my goodness, Delta stays being delayed. I mean, have you ever made an on-time flight in your life? At least I don't have to lower my prices to get people to get on my plane. <clears throat> Spirit. Keep my name out of your disgusting Delta mouth. I mean, it's almost as disgusting as Southwest Airlines. My airplanes are probably the cleanest airplanes in the sky, unlike your flying tin cans. Y'all, there is no point in arguing. I mean, especially since everyone already knows that I'm the best. Sorry, I think you forgot the small little detail that I'm worth about $12 billion more than you are. The only thing more unstable than your economy is that San Andreas fault line that you're sitting on. I literally carry this country. Meanwhile, all you carry is fleas and whatever disease your side of the country has. The only thing that the West Coast carries is all of its trash into the ocean. We literally have Hollywood and all you have is Dollywood. Oh, you won't have Hollywood for long, because it'll probably get burnt down by one of your forest fires. <coughs> what about the Gulf Coast? Be quiet. No one was talking to you. Right. They are so irrelevant. I mean, they probably just want to be us. I wouldn't want to be you if you were the last plot of land on this earth. You know what, West Coast? I have had it. First things first. They tried to wake me up at 5 a.m. for the Hunger Games, so I said no, and I just slept in, and then they just killed me. I thought the force field was made of glass, but it's not. And so I died. I made a fire to try to heat up my hot pocket and all of a sudden Aries just stabs me. I found a bottle of CeraVe hand lotion and ate it because I thought it was yogurt. I was in an alliance with Sarja Tortilla and then they just killed me. After I killed Aquarius for calling me Sarja Tortilla, I shot an arrow into the sky and like five minutes later it came back down and hit me. Y'all, I died of a heat stroke because they don't have air conditioning. It's an enclosed arena, why don't they have- I fell asleep on top of the cornucopia and I woke up and I saw bright lights. I was in heaven is where I was. I think Scorpio killed me. I was really hungry so I ate poisonous berries. I was trying to bury Aries' body because I'm like nice like that and there was a bomb in the ground. I hid under this big rock thinking that I was gonna win and then someone sat on top of it and squished me. I just sat on top of this big rock and then I just won. I don't know what's more shameful, your constantly cold weather or the fact that you're the home of Justin Bieber. You're just mad because I have free health care and you don't. Okay, well, at least my only season isn't winter. You're just jealous because half of your country stays either getting hit by a hurricane, shaken by an earthquake, or burnt by a wildfire. And meanwhile, we're just up here chilling with the cold, living our best life. Right, well, at least my flag isn't just a maple leaf. I mean, how basic is that? At least we have 13 stripes representing our 13 colonies. You know what else must be really basic? All of that pollution that you put into the ocean every day. Okay, well, at least I'm not only known for maple st Don't you dare say what I think you're gonna say. You know what? I think I will say it. It's the only being known for maple syrup for me. Netflix, you used to be the king of the streaming service, but now that you've canceled all of your good TV shows, everyone's coming to me. Please, you've had about one good TV show, and other than that, you're irrelevant. You'd know a thing or two about being irrelevant since you have to make a whole TV show about famous TikTokers so you can stay relevant. It's called running a streaming service, which is obviously something that y'all are having some struggles with. No, I'm doing just fine. I just think it's funny that now that WandaVision is over, Disney Plus has literally just been old news. Old news? Have you ever even been on the news? I get it, Disney Plus. You make movies. You own companies. But leave it to the grown-up to run a streaming service because you obviously can't handle the heat. Well, you know what? I'm not finished, Hulu. Okay, Disney Plus is worth about $16 billion. Hulu is worth about $10 billion. Add y'all together, and it's about $26 billion. Well, I'm worth $30 billion. I'm worth more than both of y'all combined, so both of y'all can just be quiet, sit down, this conversation is over, goodbye. Uh, Netflix, how did Disney Plus and Hulu die? 
they tried to come for my brand, so I simply came for theirs. Before the games even started, someone played the Nicki Minaj song, and so obviously I was gonna dance to it, and I just danced myself right off the pedestal and got blown up. Scorpio came over and killed me like the roach they are. I hid under this big pile of leaves, and someone forgot to mention that it was poison ivy. I saw this really cute dog in the woods, so then I went to go pet it, and it just bit me and killed me. So I sadly drowned in this really big creek. How deep was it? It was like two feet deep. Leo was being so annoying, so I tried to stab them, but then I missed and ended up stabbing myself. I was walking through the woods, and then all of a sudden this big old beehive fell on top of me, and I just simply died. So a storm came, and lightning struck me in the butt. Someone decided it would be really funny to put a bomb into the Pop-Tarts. I will find you. I will hunt you down and find you. No, I'm not telling y'all what happened. Just ask Capricorn. Just ask Capricorn. Leo and I were just walking in the woods together, and then all of a sudden, Taurus just jumped down from a tree like a maniac and just stabbed us. Oh my goodness, I have been waiting for this one. I would like to start off by thanking my mom, my dad. YouTube, when will you finally realize that you were just old news? I mean, everyone has moved on to me. How could you possibly say that you're better than me when I pay my creators thousands of dollars a year, and you pay yours, uh, pennies? Look, I used to be your biggest fan when I was eight. I mean, no one wants to watch you anymore since half of your creators are either canceled or too old to post. I think you're forgetting that I am literally America's favorite social media. Meanwhile, you almost got banned by America. Well, I think you're forgetting that everyone watching this video right now is watching it on TikTok. Please, somewhere in the next five years when you finally die, just like Vine, all of your fans will be coming back to, uh, me. Look, I would die, but that would be almost as tragic as one of your YouTube rewinds, so I think I'll stay. You could never compare to my streamies or my YouTube rewinds. A literal trash can is better than one of your YouTube rewinds. Yeah, you heard him. I'm sorry, is that ghost over there trying to scare me? Because it's not working. Let me try to scare you. <laughs> oh my goodness, if my soul was a house, it would be this house. Oh no, I'm not scared of ghosts or anything like that, because there's a little known fact about me. I can actually see dead people. I mean, like, literally right now, I can see Prince Philip standing in the corner over there. I'm sorry, did you say this was a haunted house? Because the only thing haunting in this house is the fact that I'm gonna get lung cancer in the next five years from breathing in this air. Oh my goodness, I'm totally living for this vintage house right now. I mean, like, on a scale of one to haunted, this place is like the Buckingham Palace. I mean, that place is haunted, right? Oh, did you say there was a ghost in here? Okay, okay. Right, so I'ma head out. I'll see y'all later. Love y'all. Oh, I'm too good for the Hunger Games, so I moved to District 13. I tripped on my way to grab a knife, and I ended up falling on the knife. I was staring at my reflection in the river, and then all of a sudden, Aquarius kills me. I was killed by Virgo when they threw a grenade at me. I tried to whistle at the birds like how Katniss did, and then all of a sudden, they started pecking me. I just simply died of laughter after seeing Libra get pecked to death by birds. I accidentally fell asleep on quicksand. Well, I died because Pisces pushed me into my campfire. I died after a snake bit me in the eyeball. So Gemini told me to go down to the creek to get some water, and Sagittarius was there and killed me. Gemini also sent me to go get some water at the creek, so after I killed Aquarius, I was walking back to Gemini, and they just clocked me from behind. Did I lie to Sagittarius and Aquarius to win? <gasps> yeah, what about it? I absolutely love that your name is Dunkin' Donuts, because all I want to do is dunk your donuts in the trash can. The only people that work at Starbucks are those 30-year-old college dropouts that say that their occupation is barista. Well, unlike you, I don't need Charlie D'Amelio to be my spokeswoman so I can stay relevant. I stay relevant because I'm better than you. It's called running a business, and the only running that you're used to is when your customers run out your door after they taste your coffee. Look, it's okay to admit that you're the Dollar General of coffee shops. Are your baristas dyslexic or something because they stay spelling the customers' names wrong? See, I was about to make up a comeback, but then I remembered I don't care. So maybe you could go argue with Krispy Kreme about your donuts that are drier than the Sahara Desert. What do you want me to do? We're in a haunted house? Okay, well, could you take me to the haunted bedroom so I could take a haunted nap? Oh my goodness, what is this place? I mean, is that a dead rat over there? This place is more crusty than the cell phone department at a Walmart. Get me out of here and get me out of here right now. I don't do ghosts. I don't do spirits. I don't do demons. I don't do any of that. Casper! Casper, where are you? Come out, let's play a game. I'm ready. These ghosts think they can kill me? I'd like to see them try. I'm immortal. 
Y'all think this is scary? No, this is luxury. I am finally home. Where do I sign up to be a ghost? Sign me up. I fell asleep before the games even began, and I got blown up. I went into a cave looking for the seven dwarves, but there were seven bears in there, and they all attacked me. I was trying to run away from Mulan, but I didn't run fast enough because my shoe fell off. I know you're in there. Come on, let's go and play. <coughs> Merida, did you just shoot me with your bow and arrow? Ariel smothered me with my own magic carpet. Elsa grabbed me by my hair and threw me off of a cliff. Someone could have told me that the frogs around here were poisonous before I decided to kiss it. Okay, well, I lost the fight to Moana over who was the best princess of the ocean. Elsa killed me because I killed Anna, but maybe she should learn to let it go, just like how she did her parents. Mulan, with her crazy self, jumped down from a tree and stabbed me. I was trying to paint with the colors of the wind when Moana just smacked me in the back of the head with one of her boat paddles. Elsa literally just froze my heart. I didn't even know you could freeze a heart. I mean, do I need to put it on defrost or something? Moana literally kicked me in the throat. I mean, who does that? Hi, I would like to accept this award on behalf of Ariel, who sadly couldn't be here tonight because the ocean chose me, and all she chose was to be irrelevant. How do you manage to have beef with like 90% of the world? I mean, you literally have beef with yourself. I'm sorry, who are you again? Oh, Canada. So you're basically just that irrelevant country that sits above me. First off, I am not irrelevant. I am unproblematic. And why are you even coming for me when you don't even have a national language? Canada, it's okay to admit that you're just the less developed and colder version of us. Why would I want to be you when you literally have a live active volcano in the middle of your country? Why are you thinking about a volcano that's probably not going to erupt anytime soon when you need to be thinking about how you're going to pay for all of that quote unquote free healthcare? Well, you're just mad because you and your 50 states will never be as good as me. Canada, you have always wanted to be like me. I mean, it's literally fan behavior at its finest. I feel like a mother and both of my kids are arguing with each other. You really think that you're better than us? We're the OG, we built you. Excuse me, we built ourselves. We don't need some three crusty mermaids to show us how it's done. No, we are not crusty because every single one of our actors went on to have another career after our show. Meanwhile, all of your actors are just one hit wonders. That's why your show only lasted for one season, because no one could stand to look at you for another one. Look, we get it. You want to be us. Your jealousy is really showing through, but you will always and forever be trash. Excuse me, we literally built the brand. The only reason anyone wants to watch your show now is because they can't get enough of us. Please, the only thing that I can't get enough of is the silence from every time you shut your mouth. Uh, the disrespect. Do we even have to waste time comparing me to this busted backyard boot camp? If you don't want to go up against us, just say that. I mean, I would feel pretty embarrassed too if my song sounded like yours. Um, I'm sorry, who ended up winning the camp war competition? Oh right, it was me! And you can't even say anything with those songs that sound like they came out of an episode of Doc McStuffins. Okay, well at least my camp isn't so pathetic that they had the cheat to win. We would have won with just natural talent. Natural talent? No, if your talent was so good, you would have been able to afford some air conditioning for your busted, broke down camp. I'm sorry, but I'm just having trouble remembering, but wasn't your camp so conceited that they all ended up joining our camp in the end? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Ugh, the only reason anyone knows who you are is because Connect 3 goes there. I mean, is there even a camp star anymore since all of your people wanted to come to us? The disrespect. 
You honestly think you're better than me even though half of your customers are crackheads and there's shootings in your parking lot like every other week? You and I both know that the only reason that anyone ever comes to your store is because sometimes you have a Starbucks in it. No, they come to my store because they expect more and pay less. At your store, they expect less and pay more. Pretty soon, I'm guessing in the next year, you're gonna be dead just like Kmart. I doubt that because my store is clean and your store is dirtier than a Waffle House at 3 a.m. That is such a coincidence that your name is Target because you're my next Target after I finish killing Kmart. Oh, I know Walfart isn't talking to me. No one out pizzas the hut, especially you and your busted crackhead ugly built self. The only thing your pizza is going out in is the dumpster out back behind my restaurant. Um, you must have gotten your pizzas confused because my pizza tastes delectable, 10 out of 10, stunning, and yours tastes like fried brat pea. I'm sorry, were you talking to me? I'm just having trouble focusing with that big red ugly hat in your head. Yeah, I call it my red crown because I'm kind of the king of the pizza business. How can you possibly sit there and call yourself the king of pizza when your pizza slices look like they were cut by a four-year-old who was given a knife? So you're really gonna call me out for uneven pizza slices when you have given over a thousand people food poisoning? I told Little Caesars not to tell anyone. What? Don't look at me like that. He offered me money. What was I supposed to do? I'm obviously the best because I'm home to the original chicken sandwich. Yeah, you are, but you're also home to that Chick-fil-A sauce that could never even compare to my Zack sauce. Arby's, we have the meats. Oh, they have the meats. Okay, noted, okay. Well, I'm Burger King, and I have the crown, which basically means I've already won. Let's wrap it up. How could y'all possibly think that y'all are the best when I'm standing right next to y'all? I mean, I basically built fast food. If Dollar General was in the fast food business, its name would be McDonald's. That's why your logo looks like the red-headed version of Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Chick-fil-A, more like make me sick filet. That was the dumbest joke I've ever heard in my life. Oh, you want to see dumb, then just look in the mirror. Are y'all done? I mean, are y'all done? Because I'm ready to go. I'm ready to take my crown and go. I don't deal with this childish behavior. I should really change my name to South Best because I'm obviously the best around. How could you possibly say that you're the best when I'm right here? Please, I literally carry the airline business. Well, since you apparently carry the airline business, why don't you carry yourself away from me because I've had enough of you. United, the only thing that you unite is your seats. I mean, there is no room between them. Spirit, I got you a little gift. Hey. Um, what is that? It's rolls of duct tape to keep your plane held together. Mm, maybe you should save some for yourself, Delta. All of y'all are literally trash. Next. Are you sure your battery's gonna last long enough for this fight? My battery will make it through it, but I don't know about your audio and your camera quality. Oh my goodness, let me put on my mask right away. I mean, not for COVID reasons. I'm just afraid that if I breathe on you, your screen will crack. Yes, please put a mask on because I am tired of smelling your hot, stinky breath. Apple, your net worth is $65 billion, but my net worth is $300 billion. I'm actually going to take that as a compliment because even though I'm worth less than you, I'm always the fan favorite and you will always be dumpster trash. Come on in and join me, Samsung. Instead of you being the god of thunder, maybe you should have been the god of cheating on your wife because you seem to be very good at that. Well, maybe you should be the god of wrath because so far you've turned Medusa into a gorgon and Arachnid into a spider. Don't even talk to me about doing bad things to people when you literally ate my mom. I ate her because she was almost as annoying as you were, and the only reason that you're a virgin goddess is because no one in their right mind would ever want to love Athena. One thing that I have learned throughout my life is that you can't fix stupid. I'm a virgin goddess because I want to show self-control, which is something that you obviously don't have. I am the king of the gods. Are you really going to speak to me like that? I'll speak to you like that again the next time you say something stupid. I mean, knowing you, it probably won't be that far from now. I cannot believe that you used to be my favorite child, but now I have had it. Someone get my lightning bolt. I tried to fly away, but I got electrocuted by the edge of the arena. Hera stabbed me as soon as the game's begun because I was staring at Aphrodite. I don't fight people, so I just simply laid on the ground and died. I fell onto a knife because I may or may not have been drunk. I was busy looking at Ares when Hephaestus stabbed me in the back. Ares and I got into a fight and I lost. I know I'm like the goddess of agriculture, but I ate poison berries. I took a bullet for Persephone. 
Yeah, the bullet went straight through him and then hit me. Athena killed me and I don't want to talk about it. Hera threw me down another mountain and this time I died. A bear came out of nowhere and killed me. I was not meant to be in the wild. Poseidon glued me to the bottom of the lake. How was there waterproof glue? I was trying to look for Athena and then she just jumped out of a tree and said, This is for Medusa and then killed me. I am the goddess of wisdom and strategical war. What did you expect? I got in a fight with Athena over who was the true god of war and I lost. I hid behind a tree, but then the tree fell on top of me. I was trying to dig a hole to find water, but I hit a landmine. I thought the Hunger Games was a food themed party, so I dressed up as a chicken nugget, but Zeus saw me and killed me. I was whistling to the mockingbirds and then they just started attacking me. I got so bored, so I just went back to the underworld. I was looking for Persephone, and then I fell into a trap, probably set by Zeus. A freshwater nymph killed me. I mean, they're just salty that they're not a saltwater nymph. Artemis may have won the battle, but she is not going to win the war. Hera killed me because she saw Zeus looking at me instead of her. I mean, it's fan behavior if you ask me. I fell off of a cliff. Artemis shot me with her bow and arrow. I mean, she is such a peasant. I got bit by a venomous snake. I mean, it reminded me of Hera. The hunters of Artemis teamed up on me. I'm literally the goddess version of Katniss Everdeen. I mean, what did you expect? I was told that the Hunger Games was a talent show, but when I started singing, someone stabbed me in the back. I tried to climb up a tree, but I fell and got impaled by a stick. I lost a fight to Persephone over a box of Kool-Aid. I sniffed poisonous flowers. What? They just smelled so good. I fell into a fire and died, which is a coincidence because I'm the god of fire. Hera tied me to a tree and stabbed me for each time I cheated on her, which was a lot. Hades literally cheated because he got one of his little skeleton guys to take me to the underworld. I got killed by Ares because I looked at Aphrodite. I wanted a bear as a pet, but the bear ate me. I was hiding in the cornucopia and then Poseidon found me and killed me. He is such a roach. Aphrodite sprayed this really strong perfume on me and I just simply choked. Athena pushed me off of a cliff. Hades got his little dog Cerberus to kill me. I was in a fight with Hades and then all of a sudden he turned invisible and the next thing I know I was sliced open. I mean, that's gotta be illegal, right? I'm literally the king of the underworld. What did you expect? I am obviously the best because all of y'all are princesses, but I am a queen. I'm sorry, I may be wrong, but didn't you literally almost kill your sister and then freeze a whole village? How about you just go back to painting with the colors of the wind because I am always the best. Sorry, Belle, I may have heard you wrong, but did you say you're the best or did you say that you're the beast? Ariel, so you have hearing problems and you have voice problems? Are you sure your name's not Helen Keller? Y'all are all lying. I am the best. I mean, I literally run this show. The last time you ran anything, your shoe fell off because you had to get home before 12 o'clock because you needed the fairy godmother to make yourself look pretty. <laughs> y'all seriously think y'all are better than me? I am literally the fan favorite. I literally saved a country and you just saved a frog. You literally had to fake being a man to do it. Try being yourself. Sorry, y'all. I hate to be loud. Weren't you literally asleep for 90% of your movie? Anna, I had a question. How does it feel being the least favorite sibling? Rapunzel, I think you should go back in that tower and lock yourself up again because you know what they say. Out of sight, out of mind. Please, y'all are all just mad that I'm made from Pixar and y'all aren't. I mean, I'm a different brand. I'm a different breed.